The year is 2318. The location, the skyborne metropolis of Kaldoria. Finally, the terrible memories of Earth's world wars have started to fade. After discovering the strength of unification, humanity reclaimed and restored their once ravaged planet. However, all of these accomplishments have become threatened by man's most incredible discovery, time travel. Frightened by its potential for disaster, government leaders immediately seized the time machine, codenamed Pegasus, and moved it to a secret location. Realizing that the integrity of the time continuum would now have to be forever guarded, the unified Earth government formed an elite agency to protect history. On a day when an unlikely and unproven member of this team was monitoring the time stream, the unimaginable occurred. Gage Blackwood, Agent 5 of the Temporal Protectorate, would be called upon to prevent a crisis that will threaten history itself, a crisis that could destroy not only the past, but also the future of humankind. This is the story of Earth's most timely hero. everybody welcome to another let's play through with me your host tim and today we're playing an oldie we're playing the journeyman project pegasus prime the epic time travel adventure begins so years ago when cds were brand new i had the german project and it was pretty fun it was a i guess we could call it a mist like game point and click perhaps it was a from our point of view type of game. I think it was another. Oh no 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 no! Don't do that. Another game like it would have been. Oh, Toll Distortion would be another game kind of like this one. So, I haven't played German Project since I was a kid. So we're talking. Wow, 1995 maybe or so. <laughs> some, some long time ago. Actually, it was probably even older than that because I wasn't in college. And I, I I had played this game. Wow, I can't even begin to imagine when the original Dreaming Project came out. So, I saw this on GOG the other day, and I decided to pick it up, and I heard that Pegasus Prime adds quite a bit of new stuff to the game, so this will be new to me. It's been so long that I don't remember too much about the game, but my mind remembers certain bits of it. I, I remember our fourth late arrival has been verified and logged, if that helps anyone. I remember finding that hilarious as a kid. And I might remember one or two of the puzzles, but not off the top of my head. So really, that's all the prep there is to it. I, I have beaten the game many times, but it was well over 20 years ago since the last time I think I played this game. So with that in mind, I think that's really kind of all there is to it. So we're going to go through the inter interface overview here. Together, I can this is the Journeyman Interface Overview. Oh. Point at any part of the interface to learn more about it. Sure. This is the main screen. I, no, I hate that sort of thing. Okay, so... This is what date it is. We're, at, we're in the year 2318. We're facing north. Energy is used. We will slowly, if I remember correctly, lose energy while we're in time travel place. <laughs> while we're in the other time zones, and we can also use energy to use biochips, I think is what they were called. And the chips allow us to track where people have been from different time areas. They can make us go invisible, they can provide us with a shield to guard ourselves with. There's all sorts of things that it can let us, these things can let us do. Uh, oh, yep, okay, so, oh, nice, okay, and yep, true enough, this shows our currently active biochip. Awesome. We get biochips from defeating robots. And I remember if you click on the wrong biochip, the robot leaves and you don't get the right biochip. Hopefully they fix that in this one. Some functions, T and this to press, okay, I'm gonna get confused about that. Till does my inventory. Alright, I think... Oh wow, we have to use the arrows to move? Okay, arrows to move, not the WASD keys. Alright, I guess we're, guess we're set. Let's, uh... Let's go back to the main menu. 
And what's the difficulties here? Walkthrough or adventure? Well, we're this is an adventure game. We're gonna play adventure mode. I don't have any save spots, I think. Yep, this is here you go. Proof I haven't played this game. So let's go ahead and let's start us up a game. sounds of WKIM too big. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Don't tell me you overslept. Whoa, you look awful. Did you have another one of those nightmares? You know, you really should talk to the doc about that. Anyway, this is just a friendly reminder that uh, you're supposed to relieve me at 0700. Remember, it was your idea to draw straws and you drew the short one. So, you get to hold down the fort while the rest of us go and watch the Sabrolan delegate procession. Look, you always wanted to be the Lone Ranger. Now, get down here on time for a change and I'll let you watch my op man when I come back. See you later. Wake up. Wake up. Uh. Good morning, Agent 5. It seems that you have slept with your neuroocular prosthesis on again. Hmm. Your monocle needs recalibration. Okay. Stand by. Yes, there we go. The energy level warning light is operational. The energy level counter is at 100%. Scrolling through the inventory control panel. Agent 5, you are due for your shift at the Temporal Security Annex. Right, there, okay, hello everyone. <laughs> um, it has been a while since I played this game. What's my... Your current directive is to report to the Temporal Security Annex for your scheduled shift and monitor the time stream for possible anomalies. Okay, so I guess a normal day at work for me. Let's, let's walk this way. This is a button. I have a giant. I have a giant hand. Hello. I can't walk backwards. All right, let's let's get to the bathroom first. I think this is my bathroom. Can I walk this way? Oh, this is my bedroom. Is this my bedroom? <laughs> Oh, there's my bathroom. Okay, so I would like to hit, hit the head first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Here we go. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Stand by for health checks. Your body fat today is 15%. Today's tip, cut back on the Chinese takeout. Please choose a hairstyle. Uh, I think agency standard will be good. Agency standard. <laughs> I like Chinese takeout. <laughs> it's some of the best takeout. I thought I could... Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Good morning. Stand by for health checks. Okay, this is... Okay, same 15 thing. Percent. Sorry about Today's this. Today's tip, cut back on the Chinese takeout. But it's the best takeout. Please choose a hairstyle. <laughs> I still take it agency, agency standard. standard. Okay, I thought I could use the water faucet. Apparently not. Now let me take a shower. Oh, the toilet. 
Sure, well, why not? We'll, we'll do my morning constitutional on, on camera. The wait is over. At precisely 6 a.m. West Coast time, a Cerulean space vehicle entered Earth's atmosphere and landed on the lawn in front of Caldoria's Capitol building. Although the city square is being kept clear for the ceremony, crowds of onlookers have formed on the fringes, eager to catch a glimpse of the Cerulean ambassador as he emerges from the spacecraft to shake hands with Dr. Castillo, symbolizing our acceptance into the symbiotry of peaceful beings and forever changing the course of human events. Stay tuned for more. I guess humankind has gotten rid of most of our impulses, our violent ways and whatnot. Alright, good enough. Can I, can I wash my hands now? Nope. This is a hands are not required to be washed area. Oh, this is back to the to the main room. Okay. Gotcha. I don't need to take a shower. I can't. No, no, no. I don't need to use the bathroom again. Let's check my bedroom out really quick. Anything in the fridge? Current cleaning mode gentle cycle. Durothane microweave setting. Oh. Estimated time to completion. Approximately three hours. Oh, it's like my laundry machine. No, I, I don't think we'll watch it for three hours. <laughs> what else have we got in here? Yeah, before, might as well, before we get into work, take a look outside. Looks like there's nothing else out there. Hello? I have a message. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. You have two messages. Okay. Yes. Play, play it. First message. Just calling to say thanks for the Thai food last night. Sorry I had to leave so early, but this story is the biggest break of my career. I think you'll be able to catch me on your environ system. I'll call you later. Bye. Oh, I don't know if I could ever stand getting voice messages that have pictures with them. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Second message? Second message. Good morning, Agent 5. I sincerely hope the reason you're not answering your phone is because you're already on the way to TSA. You've already been late to work twice this week. I need you here on time for a change. To relieve Agent 3 for the alien procession. Don't disappoint me. Okay. Oh, I think it's... Oh, hello. What's... What's this? What is this? What's... What's in it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a secret compartment. Oh, wait. Here we go. No. Okay. Well, if there's anything in there, I don't know what it was. It doesn't look like I could interact with it. No, one more time. Hold on, hold on. There's gotta be something secret in there, like a biochip or something. There has to be. What is this? What are you? Give me your secrets! <laughs> what? Why does this open and shut it? There's nothing in there. Oh, come on! Okay, well, I guess I guess we can't find anything in there. Oh, well. Alright, so I guess we're done with our room. Probably I'm missing something. You're all screaming at me right now. Oh, I'm missing something. Alright, so that's just a, I guess, a light button? It's supposed to lead us out. I'm assuming I have... Do I have my key card? Do I need a key card? Is there a key card to be had? Alright, let's, let's get going. It's been a while since I've played this game. So that's my room. You are in the Caldoria Heights complex. Oh, um, the mapping biochip must be something I get later, I guess. These must be other people's rooms. I don't need to see the room. I can find an elevator. This must be it. Second floor. Third 
what just happened at the end of the game. Fourth floor. Okay, we want to head to the... the lobby? Let's all go to the lobby and get ourselves a snack. Third floor. <laughs> I really just say that out loud. Second floor. First floor. Okay, so our time machine should be... Oh, sorry, our transport should be down here somewhere, not our time machine. We're gonna take a look around here really quick. I don't think there's anything on the other side of this area. Yeah, and those are just people's rooms, so we can't enter them. At least I don't believe we can. Oh, yeah, busy out there today. Lots of sky vehicles. There it is, the global transporter. Welcome to the Caldoria Heights Apartments, with the best view of the world's first floating metropolis. While here, feel free to visit our rooftop observatory. Located directly across from the Capitol building in Sector 3, Caldoria Heights plays to a number of luxurious accommodations. Our 15 units offer ample living space and the very best views of the city. Aluminized steel plumbing and titanium bathroom fixtures are standard. And topping off this list of distinctive features is a high-res 4D environment system built into each and every living room. Designed for Metro Properties by Marco Giappetti, Calduria Heights offers comfortable accommodations in an attractive environment. I don't know about you, but I live here for this awesome music in the lobby. Hey, we can see the ship from here. Let's take a peek, see if we can see the... see the alien from here. This, this is done, all being done auto, automatically for me. Okay, so he's you know he's still chilling out there. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with this. Oop. Whoa. Oh boy. Our transporter, or teleporter, actually. I can't help but think I'm forgetting, like, two things in my room. I really think I am. We'll find out here. Please insert your global transport card yep. now. Yep, yep. Which we don't have, so uh, we're uh, we're done. <laughs> I'm failing at this. Uh, right. I'll just go back to my room then and get the card. Which I'm totally going to be. I wasn't late. I was. I, I knew I forgot something. At least one thing. <laughs> oh my god! Have I really screwed up this entire? Entire recording ready. Uh, um, you know what? We're posting it anyway. We're posting it. No going back. No going back. Okay. So we have our card in our room somewhere. And I want to say there's a biochip up there too. Second floor. Where did I leave the card last night? Probably leave it at the restaurant with that girl. Maybe she took it. I've been robbed. Fourth floor. No, we can't go anywhere. We don't, we have, the only place, the only way out of the hotel is a transporter. 
Oh my god, what a nightmare. Can you imagine that? You're unable to leave your house without without your without your card? And if someone takes it, you're stuck in the house forever? Wow, that's like a that's like a nightmare story. Alright, so where is our card? Alright, so we gotta look all over the place for it, don't we? Alright, I don't see it here. All right, let's check our bedroom again. I didn't check over there, the shelf on the on the far side, so we'll do that. I guess the laundry's still going. Can I look down? No. Still lots, still lots of cars going around. I don't... There's nothing in here. Okay. Oh! What, what is this? Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Good morning. Please make a selection. Sure. Card. <laughs> the synthesizing electrolyte proteinum and nutrient number four. Share and enjoy. Nice. Um, we'll keep the glass container. Sure, why not? It might come in useful in our adventure. So, I don't see a card anywhere in here. <laughs> this would mean that... I don't think there's anything else this Good would morning, do for Mr. me. Blackwood. Please make a selection. No, I, I don't need another drink. Let's check... It's not in the bathroom. I'm assuming that when I get to a desk, oh, it will make me look down at said desk. Oh, is it right there? On the table? Like, right here? Can I look down? Oh, this just changes the room to be whatever it is I want to be. The following is a special report from INN. Sure. I'd watch the news all the time if it was like this. Good morning, Kaldoria. I'm Mark Johnson. Never mind. INN has just been notified that the Symbiotry Ambassador ship landed moments ago, and a fleet of Cyrolan ships has approached Earth and is now in geosynchronous orbit over Kaldoria. Nice. Our reporter Megan Love is live on the scene at the Capitol building, where the alien procession is scheduled to take place. Megan, can you describe what's going on down there? Thank you, Mark. There's a tremendous crowd on hand to witness this historic event, and the atmosphere can only be described as electric. As most of our watchers know, it was in 2308, just three years after the World Unification Accords held in Gorbistan, that Earth was visited by a race of aliens who called themselves the Sirolans. They told us that they were here to invite us into an alliance which they called the Symbiotry of Peaceful Beings. They told the world that the purpose of this alliance is simply to share knowledge and culture with other alien races. They then left after saying they would give us exactly 10 years to deliberate their proposal. Today is the day of their return and all along the streets the people of Keldoria are waiting for the gates to open so they can catch a glimpse of the Sirolan delegate from the Capitol lawn. We will keep you informed with up-to-the-minute reports about this historic event. For the Interactive News Network, I'm Megan Love. This has been a special report from INN. You may change your audio and visual selections at any time. Thank God. Okay, let's change our audio to... Uh, you know what? This is actually pretty good. We'll leave that there. I like, I like the mountain view, please. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, it changes all the time. Oh, I thought I thought it would like this display me in it living in a mountain. This gives me virtual wallpaper. Okay, we're done. Uh, thank you. This module is blank. For information on ordering additional environments and music selections, please contact the management. Okay. I, I will. I'm done. Put this back. I can go back to looking for my key card. Do I leave it in my coat? Do I even have a coat? So that's the button that start all that stuff. 
I don't see anything else here, so we're standing up again. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> this is so wrong. Where is my key card? I'm so late for work. Oh, it's like real life. It's just like real life. <laughs> Did I leave it in the bathroom? I don't think so. So this is this is where we get the haircut. All right, this is gonna have to be a sweep my cursor over the mouse to find it type of thing, isn't isn't it? This is the toilet. I already know what that does. We sit down and read the paper. So it must be in my room somewhere. <clears throat> Maybe it's actually. Current cleaning mode, gentle cycle. Durethane micro weave setting. Estimated time to completion. Approximately three hours. Did I leave it in here? No, the only thing I can do is leave this area. Okay, so that lets me zoom in on the on the wash. There's nothing there. I don't see anything here. I can't move forward at the bed. Oh wow, this is gonna show exactly how bad I am at these games, isn't it? <laughs> That's my messages. This has nothing in it. Oh my god! Alright, it has my it has my key card. My key ring. Which has my transport card, my debit card, and a light. Really? Really? So this whole time, clicking on this and everyone's screaming at me, what click the other one, Tim? Why clicking the other one, Tim? And I just didn't do so. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Alright, so that will get me to where I need to go. Okay, we're good. We're good. I thought there was a biochip somewhere in here, too. Alright, but let's, let's get going. Let's start the adventure! It's adventure time! It's time for us to be Time Cop. I don't know why I would ever go in my room with the, when this music's out here. It has that awesome 80s vibe to it. In my defense, I knew I forgot the key card. <laughs> First floor. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's let's get going. Oh, I'm so late, man. It's been like 20 minutes already. They call me. Yeah, they call me like 20 minutes ago. Hello, awesome-looking seat. Don't mind if I do sit down. Insert your global transport card now. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Transport card. Yes. Yes. How do I transport card? <laughs> Wait, do I swipe it? Choose a destination. I would like to go to the other. Other destinations have not been pre-programmed. Sure, then I'd like to go to the Time Space Authority. Foreign organism detected in transport. Please hold for tracking and sterilization process. Foreign element eliminated. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Thank you for using global transport. Okay. Made it to work. Let's walk through the device, which is making sure I'm the person I, I think I am. Hello? 
hello door. My, you're a fine looking door. Please hold for ID check. Scanning. Verification of central cortex scan. Scanning for biotech implant. Identification confirmed. Welcome, Agent 5. Your fourth late arrival has been verified and logged. <laughs> I thought the voice was a deeper voice. So oh. help me, if I miss the first human encounter with alien beings... Well, I went into a vert anyway, so I didn't want to go to any parties. Let's go take a look around in here. Oh, do, can I look up? I can. Roberto Jimenez, first in the five Earth president. The role of government is to protect the innocent and promote peace. With this new, unified world, the Earth stands on the verge of a peace that will forever change the face of humanity. Oh, I don't remember these before. We're gonna, we're gonna watch all of them. Dr. Alisa Crenshaw. Inventor of the first faster than light drive. Whoa! Equipped with a faster than light drive, humans can once again unfurl their sails and navigate a new and endless black sea by the light of billions and billions of bright stars. All right, so we're spacefaring. to the command center. Yeah, this is different. I don't remember these from a long... I mean, granted, of course, it's been forever, but I still do not remember android robots here to begin with. Dr. Seiji Matsumoto, inventor of the cybernetic cortical matrix. The design of the cortical matrix was based on a neural net of the human brain. Like children, these constructed beings will evolve and grow, and from them we must also learn. Castillo, Earth's first ambassador to the symbiotry of peaceful beings. As we have struggled on Earth to blind our eyes to the differences that have separated us in the past, so must we now, as a unified people, acknowledge and welcome the differences of races from planets other than our own. I wonder if by unification it means that we all think the same thing now, or if we all acknowledge our differences and get along. Downstairs? <laughs> uh, or upstairs? Must be upstairs, I guess. Command center, it sounds like it. Oh, am I gonna have to watch like a ethics training program or something? Whoa, it's like the thing Darth Vader sat in. Sure. Let's let's um. Can I sit in it? Oh, we we have to walk around. Wow, we have to walk around. Seems like a safety hazard, a fire hazard to me. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So you finally decided to make it into work. I did, yes. And only 32 minutes late this that's not, time. That's good, that's good. Obviously you think TSA rules do not apply to you. No, I just thought I lost my card. Well, you are wrong. Oh. As of now, you're grounded. Oh. One week of review and data cleanup work in the command center. Oh. And you can start by reviewing TSA agent procedures, uh. which you've obviously forgotten. Uh. Fine. Where is it? Oh my god. Fine. Let me have the background. The Particle Accelerating Space-Time Transporter V-1, otherwise known as Pegasus, was the brainchild of part-time historian and full-time physicist Dr. Elliot Sinclair. In 2311, after seeing Sinclair's time-bending experiments, 
the government contracted him to build a full-scale, operational time machine. The purpose of this device was to explore our past, as well as to discover the truth behind many disputed historical events. Just four years after the project was begun, the world's first time machine underwent its first test run. However, due to mounting concerns by individuals who believed that the machine would be used not only to explore history, but also to alter it, the test run would be the first and last time that the machine would be used for research purposes. The project was discontinued, and Sinclair was forbidden to ever work on time distortion projects again. Time travel, now a reality, the government secretly set up the Temporal Security Annex as a means to safeguard history from potential sabotage. You, the members of the Temporal Protectorate, are among the very few who know of its existence. Okay, we're going to take a look around. If I can, can I leave? I want to get a feel for where I am really quick before I, before I continue watching the rest of this stuff. Let's take a look around work. I don't really want to do work. We'll, we'll be back here. Don't, don't worry. The game won't let us continue unless you actually watch all those, all that training. Can I leave? Oh, I can't even leave. I'm trapped. Like, would let me out? Can I use my card? Can I use the card? Is there something to swipe it on? No! Oh, wow. All right, well, now we don't really have a choice. We're forced to watch the rest of this, of this stuff right now. Wow, this is a, what a place to work. <laughs> I guess it's a job like any other. I hope, the, I hope it pays well. If that leaves, what is this? What are you? Oh, there's, some, there's something else over there. So let's go back to watching the videos. So that was the background. Let's look at our theory. The simplest analogy for the theory of time travel is that of a tunnel in time. When someone travels through time, a tunnel is created, which originates when the travel is begun and ends when the traveler lands. If some event in the past is altered, the theory states a rip occurs in the fabric of time, which gives rise to a temporal chain reaction. This chain reaction takes the form of a reality distortion wave. It could take anywhere from a few seconds to several hours to reach the present. Of those who aren't uncreated when the distortion wave hits, many will suddenly have a new life, and the past as we know it will cease to exist. Traveling back in time before the distortion wave hits allows an agent to jump over the distortion wave and escape its effects. As a member of the Temporal Protectorate, you alone will have the ability to jump back in time and prevent the corruption from ever happening. To ensure that it doesn't happen again, you'll have to discover the source of this disruption and bring it to a halt. One main caution exists. When time jumping, never allow the energy level that sustains the temporal link between yourself and the Pegasus device to be depleted, for integrity failure of this conduit will end any possibility of returning to the present. Very important to know. Well, I want to save the game really quick, which I haven't done yet, and I'd like to do so. Can I just click a button? I can. Chapter 1. Okay, perfect. All right, let's watch the last one. Let's watch our procedure. What what do we do? In the event that it becomes necessary to restore the proper course of history, the procedure is as follows. As quickly as possible, get to the ready room and retrieve your assigned mapping and Pegasus biochips and the journeyman key from their storage containers. The Pegasus biochip is your link to Pegasus. It is what allows you to be pulled back to the present at the touch of a button. Next, enter the biosupport suit generator. The biosupport suit is an indispensable element of the time travel process and is essential for your protection. After you're outfitted for travel and before the reality distortion wave reaches the present, you must jump to the year 200 million BC. Upon arriving, use the journeyman key to open the storage vault and obtain the journeyman historical log. Since it exists at a point in time previous to any likely temporal changes, this disk serves as a source of unaltered historical information. To discover how history has been changed, return to the temporal security annex and insert the journeyman disk into the computer. It will be cross-referenced with the historical log which was left behind and altered by the reality distortion wave. Knowing how, when, 
and where the past was changed should give you the information you need to restore the proper flow of history. A word of caution. Time is very sensitive to change. In order to keep from altering history further, try to solve the problems you encounter without changing anything. As a rule, a temporal protectorate agent should never interfere with any events of the past. Never leave anything behind that came from a different time. Never remove any historically significant objects from an environment. And above all, an agent should never interact with beings from another time zone. Oh no! That's not good! Doesn't sound good! Dear God, it's finally happened. And with you of all people on duty, Gage. This is it. It all depends on you. Get to the ready room. Let's do it! Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know where, where the red room even is, but we gotta we gotta go. All right. So we, so that rip is gonna slowly begin working its way towards us. We need to get out of here before we're unmade, possibly. Assuming this way will lead us to where we need to be. We need the biochip and the discs. And then we need our suit. Yep, the biochips. Temporal rip emergency confirmed. Access authorized for Agent 5 G awesome. Blackwood. That's me. Preparation complete for mapping biochip. Good. Pegasus biochip. Good. Wow, this could not take any lo Oh my god, please hurry. <laughs> Will Adam have an auto tracking available in pressure? That's fine. Let's get the get the discs. Oh, the discs. No, the discs. Oh, I'm, I'm am I confused? Yes, I'm very confused. This this is what I want. Temporal yes. rip emergency confirmed. Initiating protocol. Access authorized for Agent 5 G Blackwood. So these discs contain, I guess, all the information about everything possible leading up to this point, so we can compare it with what was changed when we come back here. No, 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 never mind. This is the lock. This is the lock. This will open up the place where we will get those chips, the, the discs from. We have now we now need the environment suits. Oh, I guess we don't open it from the side. They figured they'd step us through this sort of training at least once. Temporal rip emergency mission in progress. Pegasus access authorization confirmed for Agent 5. G. Blackwood. That's me. Prepare for biosuit encapsulation. Great. Ultrasonic body type assessment. Oh, look at me! I look great! Scanning exact body dimensions. Is that good? I guess that's good. Oh, I look great! Though this sounds painful. Oh, it's like a skin suit. Please keep hands inside turbo lift. going. I seem like there being a giant monitor which shows exactly where the rip is located. I don't see it around here, though. I'm assuming we have to walk around this to get into it, because we have to do that with everything else. And we 
go. And let's suit up. Agent 5, do not attempt to leave Pegasus. TSA protocol strictly mandates that the Pegasus remain sealed from all outside contact once a temporal repair mission is initiated. Remember, this protocol exists to protect the TSA agent from the effects of temporal anomalies that may have occurred in the corrupted time stream. All right, Gage. The world has only one hope. And it's you. Yes. I pray that after the rip hits, TSA will still be here for you to transport back to. Good luck. Thank you. I want you down, sir. You must immediately activate Pegasus before the approaching temporal distortion wave reaches the present. You will be traveling back to the year 200 million BC. Okay. To recover the journeyman historical log. After obtaining the disc, you will initiate your auto recall function, returning you to the Pegasus. Once you have returned, you must compare the corrupted and uncorrupted histories of the planet and determine the most likely origins of the distortions. Alright, let's let's do it. Let's let's jump. Oh, am I here? All right, let's. How do I get to my? How do I get to my? My biochips. The equals wasn't. Tilda is this. Journeyman key. No, journeyman key. Hello, oh, everyone. I like. I like my bapping chip. Mapping chip to be available. If I can find it. Actually, I'm gonna save the game really quick. And then we're gonna try to figure out where how I how I access my Oh everyone, I'll be back. It's backspace? Here we go. Okay, then I have to use the arrow keys for this. So I want my let's see, Pegasus biochip. I can use it to auto recall. And I have my mapping biochip. Auto tracking unavailable in pressurized environments. So I think it means I can't use this one. All right, fine. Okay, and we'll stick with our. Actually, can I do this? Okay, so let's pop this back up. Put this one back on. Do an enviro scan. Scanner information regarding this area is mixed. Advise extreme caution. Probably all sorts of dinosaurs and giant mosquitoes and God knows what else around here. Oh wow. This is different. I remember this being very simple last time. Was it just a straight walk? The, that slime. <clears throat> we can't walk it away. Okay, I don't see anything here. <clears throat> okay, we can't walk it anywhere that in that direction.
What is this? Alright, so this is obviously not where the... Ch oh, I think maybe the key ring's what I need? That looks like it's trying to read a disc or something. So, I can't use this on this device. Doesn't look like I can use the actual journeyman key. No, this is used on some sort of giant door. This is not used here. So, I don't know what this place is. remember my mapping biochip working here when I was a youngin' a long time ago. Oh god, please don't be any... Velociraptors. <laughs> that was a... What was that? Pet petrodactyl? Pterodactyl? Pterodactyl. I don't know which way to go. Let's we'll try this way. Warning. Currently registering sound reverberations from what could be incredibly immense feet. There is a high probability that the feet belong to a proportionally large carnivore. Okay. In other words, don't go that way. Sure, we, we won't go that way then. Oh! There's something that looks like it doesn't belong here. <laughs> this, is, this is the place. Maybe, maybe this is the place. Place wow. hand on scanner for ID verification. Agent 5, you have accomplished your mission and recovered the Journeyman Historical Log. You must now return quickly to the Temporal Security Annex and review the disk. Huh, what was that one device then that we saw inside that cave, I wonder? Joyriding in the Pegasus. Your research reconnaissance mission was not scheduled until... Wait a minute, what's that uniform you're wearing? What's that look on your face? You have a lot of questions to answer, soldier! Once you have finished logging your report in the command center, I want to see you in my office, immediately! Okay, everyone, I'm going to stop here to compress some files down. When we pick back up, we'll compare the disk, and we'll...